Everyone, welcome to our today's lesson. Focus on grammar. Unit seven, episode five. <clears throat> In unit seven, it's a natural disaster. And in this unit, we will have discussed a lot of informations or a lot of things. But I wanted to focus a little bit about the grammar parts of the unit. Actually, can we have to talk about we to talk about how the word is here? We have to talk about the word is here. We have to talk about the grammar. But still, I can make good again. So, by the end of this lesson, or by the end of this part of the lesson, you will be able to use adjectives with so and such. You will be able to use prepositions of time. At the same time, you will write a summary or you will make a notes. So when you get ready, we can begin. So student, what is adjective? Adjective, a word which are used to modify nouns, are usually referred to as adjectives. For instance, the adjectives like they are happy, in this sentence, happy is an adjective for this. They are describing the pronoun they. In the preceding sentences, the adjective is large, it's modifying the noun trees and the hobby, and the adjective hobby modifies the pronoun they. It should be, but it should be noted that adjectives can be formed from two or more words combined by the use of the hyphens. For instance, a two hour tribes. In this sentence, the two hour tribes, two hour is an adjective, which combined by a hyphen. As illustrated in this example, the noun in such hyphen expressions are generally in the singular, thus the singular form of the noun man, or how are used. Most English adjectives have the same form for the singular as for the plural. The only exceptions are the demonstrative adjectives, which we call it this and that. Proper adjectives. What is proper adjectives, students? Proper adjectives are adjectives derived from the proper nouns. In English, proper adjectives must begin with the capital letters. The capital letters. For instance, the French tone has an interesting history. In this sentence, French is the name. So it begins with the capital letters. Or if we may say, many of my friends are Somali. In this sentence, the word is Somali or the name Somali is capitalized. This house is a fine example of the Victorian 
archer teachers is the same with that we have seen as as illustrated the sentences the all underlined words are begin with the capital letter and then next one is attributive adjectives Ad adjectives which preceded the noun they modify are usually referred to as attributive adjectives for instance heavy rain is expected in this sentence is the word heavy heavy which describe or modify the noun rain is became attributive adjectives that's what we call attributive adjective we saw a white snail swan on the river he we sell a white swans on the river in in here white is modifying as one in this example heavy is an attributive adjective which modify the noun rain and the white is an attributive adjective which modify the noun is one next is order of attributive adjectives everything or if everything has an order or it should have an order so attributive adjective is have its own order so now let us let us look it is possible for noun to be preceded by many different types of attributive adjectives for instance too large red cardboard milk carton stirs on the steps first of all come in the maga is the bagashi i'm in the adjective is a is the bagash too large to so the color large red cardboard milk cartons and this is the bagashi ella shan adjective is ayas the bagashi kara in this example two is a cardinal number large is an adjective indicating size red is an adjective indicating colors right cardboard is an the same and the milk is a noun when a noun is preceded by more than one types of attributive adjectives the different types of adjectives are usually arranged in particular order for instance the following example contains 11 different types of attributive adjectives to sala hanso sada kekko benya illa kob yitoban attributive adjectives kamil for the sense small heavy snag warm 100 years old round blooded black iron norwegian wood stuff kobiet man adjectives aya istabaka ti horana me haqaya shambay the different types of attributive adjectives are usually arranged in the order for instance let us take a look usual order of an attributive adjectives certain determiners as all both have and when we see the next determiners including the articles a am and they we call them determiners and thirdly this determiners may have classified into some pieces for instance positive adjectives for instance my his her or and theirs and when we look to the p or demonstrative adjectives they are encompassed or included that this this and thus 
At the same time, certain other determiners such as another, any, H, and either. Similarly, cardinal numbers, for instance, one, two, three. These are called attributive adjectives. And determiners such as fewer, fewest, least, and the less, more, and most. General descriptive adjectives often in such orders. For instance, adjectives indicating the sizes when we say large, long, narrow, and so. At the meantime, adjectives indicating weight, for instance, heavy and light. Partic part participles and other adjectives, for instance, clever, excited, we call them participles. And adjectives indicating temperature, for instance, cold, hot, when we want to describe what we call the climate condition or temperatures. At the meantime, adjective is indicating age, for instance, new, six months old, young. Look. And this, new is an adjective which indicate age. At the, mean, at the same time, six month old, like six is as we have seen the cardinal numbers. And young or old is again not attributed. They are adjectives indicating age. An adjective, in the window have adjectives indicating the colors. Colors, for instance, blue, gray, red, or blah, blah. And again, we do have adjectives indicating the materials. For instance, clothes, leather, metal, all are the adjectives. They indicate the material names. And proper adjectives, for instance, American, Ethiopia. When we say Ethiopia, we mean that is the name, right? And it's a proper adjective. They included in proper adjectives. The ninth one, or the let us come to the defining adjectives. Let's call it defining adjectives. Usually indicating the purpose, methods of operations, locations, time, or category of the people is. And let us come to the determiners. The usual order of the different types of the determiner is indicating in the first category above. So the determiner is in the first category all and above and have usually proceed to other attributive adjectives. For instance, all three tables, when we say all three tables, here all is shown that attributive adjectives. At the meanwhile, when we say both the students, both is describing or indicating that the minors. Alternatively, before the article is they, the word is all, or both, have and may be used as the pronouns, followed by the word of. Sidokale, Bahadu Istimali Karta, the word is all, I'm a both, I'm a half. Might be used as a pronoun, followed by the word of. The word is an area of. All of the tables. All three tables. All of the tables. Mahamesh is so gully. Three give up by the off by a vixen in a Makamar will be all of of to wa as a pronoun is being used in Malikara. Both of the students, Halki, I both the students had an amahinus, Samin Kara, Masainu, Udigi Kara or Kale, wa both of the students. Half of the red roses. 
The determiners in the second category that we have seen above, including or include as articles, possessive adjectives, demonstrative adjectives, determiners, and another, any, each other, either, neither, no, some, what, and which. A noun can usually be modified by only one of the attributive adjectives in this category. If it is desire to convey the idea expressed by the positive adjectives, combine it with another adjectives in this category, the positive adjectives must be changed to the corresponding positive pronouns preceded by of and must follow the noun. Is it clear? For instance, or if we take an, one example, this black horse of mine, in this example, or before we explain that, let us take another example, a book of yours. In somewhat similar way, the determiner is or another, any, each, either, in F and some, which may be combined with other members of the second category of the adjectives by being used as a pronoun followed by F, followed by of. For instance, the idea expressed by the phrase, my dresses, or combined with the determiner any, and the phrase, this white floor, combined with the determiners, either may be conveyed as any of my dresses, or we may say that either of this white flowers. And the determiner is fewer, fewest, least, less, more, and most usual follow other determiners. For instance, the fewest mistake. Look, the fewest mistakes. Or if we take another example, two more children. In the first example, the fewest example or the fewest follows the determiner the, which is the article. In the second example, more is follows the determiner is two. So now, by now, I hope you have gained a lot. And let us continue to again to explain how to use the adjective so. So is used to explain why something is happening. It is used in this pattern B plus so plus adjective. Shall we take example? If you say yes, okay. For, for instance, it is so hot. It is so hot. So, can be used after certain verbs like be, seem, feel, appear, looks, smells, and so. Such, we can also use in this way, with the same meaning, but it is behaves differently, such is used in this pattern. B plus such plus A plus adjective plus noun. Shall we take example? Seventh. If you say yes, okay, let us have a look. Such a beautiful flowers. Such beautiful flowers. Now, let us, let's have an activity. Today in class, student, complete the following sentences, or the sentences with so or such, as we have seen in example 
this far. You do have a little time. Time's up, students, and welcome back. I hope you did well. If you did so, it is great. But now, let us have a look together to answer the activities. When we come to the first activity, let's say it is dash. A hot day, it must be nearly 40 degrees. In this, if you say such, you are correct. Secondly, or the second question, I feel dash. I feel so hot. I must sit in the shade. If you did so, it's good. Our teacher was so pleased with us. I don't like towns. They are so noisy. You have eaten so much partial that you will fall asleep. I hope you did so. If you did so, or with your answer is this, you are correct. And I appreciate your. So, uh, that's all for today's lesson. Till next, have a nice day, have a nice week. Goodbye.